AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Siemens PLM Software, transforming the process of innovation. Here are today's top headlines. The Motor City is hopping mad. John Kraftchuk gets a big promotion at Hyundai, and Ford beats out everybody in crash safety. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Tuesday, November 25, 2008, and now the news. There's a lot of anger in the Motor City right now. Yesterday, Congress approved $20 billion to save Citigroup and promised it would provide another $275 billion on top of that. But unlike the big three automakers, none of the Citigroup executives had to attend hearings in Washington or get lectured about how to run their business. With so many automotive jobs at stake, the Wall Street Journal reports that Michigan Congressman Thaddeus McCotter says this shows Congress cares more about people who wear Gucci's than Levi's. There's trouble in auto show land. Nissan just announced it's pulling out of the Detroit and Chicago auto shows. Mitsubishi dropped out of the auto show in Detroit last week. My own staff reported that the LA auto show looked dead. Media attendance was way down and automakers scrimped on their displays to save cost. Remember, most of the media gets flown to the auto shows by the automakers, and the car companies are cutting way back on their PR budgets. Hyundai America announced that John Kraftchik has been promoted to acting president and chief executive officer of the company. Kraftchik joined Hyundai in 2004 and most recently served as vice president of product development and strategic planning. Before that, he worked for the Ford Motor Company. Congratulations, John, and it sure is great to see a PD guy go to the top of the company. Portugal and Renault-Nissan, or is it Nissan-Renault? Well, anyway, they announced a partnership to develop an electric vehicle infrastructure for the country. Renault-Nissan will start selling EVs in 2011, and Portugal will be responsible for charging stations and incentives for EV customers, both individuals and fleets. Nissan Renault has simul similar partnerships with Yokohama, Tennessee, Monaco, and Sonoma County in Northern California. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety gives Ford more top safety rated vehicles in the U.S. than any other manufacturer. The IIHS rated 16 Fords with a top pick in its crash test. Honda came in second with 13 models in all. 72 vehicles won an IIHS Top Pick Safety Award for 2009. That's double the number of 2008 models and three times as many that got the award in 2007. Obviously, cars are getting a whole lot safer. Coming up next, a closer look at the fuel cell-powered Honda FC Sport. We'll be back right after this. Siemens transforming the process of innovation. While plug-in hybrids seem to be the R&D rage these days, Honda is not backing off one iota in its commitment to fuel cell cars. We've seen that with the FCX Clarity, Honda's hydrogen-powered sedan being leased to a handful of drivers, as well as other products that are under development. So maybe the press shouldn't have been surprised that with no advanced word last week, Honda unveiled the FC Sport at the LA Auto Show. This hydrogen-powered three-seat sports car got a lot of attention, as concepts do, but no production commitment, though the company is considering which of the car's elements may lend themselves to design features in future Hondas. And with FC Sport, there could be elements of it as a design study that show up somewhere within the Honda lineup. We don't have immediate plans for production. We do believe that there should be and will be a place for fun with an environmentally friendly vehicle. And that's what this was intended to show. As a three-seater, it really focuses on the driver and a lot of uh, lightweight and aerodynamic components uh, with zero emissions. So we, we do hope and want to extend the FC fuel cell family and a fun to drive vehicle is the next step. The FC Sport concept came from the team at Honda's Advanced Design Studio in Pasadena, California. If you'd like to take a quick tour of this fairly secret design facility, we invite you to check out our visit to Honda earlier this year during our special series, Auto Line in LA. 
You can find it in the archive section on our website. And don't forget, sign up today for your chance to win an extra special prize. Tomorrow, we're giving away a deluxe Black & Decker in-car power inverter. It's perfect for powering any 110 volt appliance from laptop computers to circular saws. All you have to do is sign up for our free email newsletter at our website. I'll be picking the winner tomorrow on AutoLine Daily, so sign up now. Anyway, that's it for today's show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Visit our website for even more great content all week long. AutoLine Extra, Don's Journal, Podcasts, and even more. So click over and get the inside view at AutoLineDetroit.tv.